Roisin, people are currently being advised by the Chief Medical Officer to avoid non-essential travel. They then must isolate for 14 days if they do go on holidays and return back to Ireland. What more do you want? Well, good morning, Andrea. The situation at the moment, I think, is very confusing for people. And I also think it's causing a lot of public concern because there are mixed messages coming from government and the chief medical officer. And, you know, we, this is such a serious situation that we need very clear messaging in relation to public health. And the problem at the moment is that all countries are treated the same. So, you know, there are safe countries and there are unsafe countries. And the government's approach is uh, really a blunt instrument because it's treated all those countries the same. So what we need, in my view, is that there is a need for a green list of those countries that are regarded as safe, that have the same or lower rates of the virus as Ireland has, so that we can, you Mm. know, have confidence about that. But more importantly, I think we need to have a mechanism for dealing with countries that are not safe, because the last thing we want is to go back to the situation in March, where we had flights coming in from northern Italy, and the travel back and forth to Chelsea. Will we have the 14 day period which people have to voluntarily quarantine they have to obviously give their details and I just see reports and figures this morning that only more than half of the people who come into Ireland from abroad um, have actually answered the phone calls should that 14 day quarantine period Roisin do you think should that be legally enforced? But that's absolutely the point. There needs to be a legal basis for that because at the moment it's just advisory. And, you know, what has happened in other countries, New Zealand, for example, is where they have supervised quarantining when people come into the country or come back to the country. And that's what needs to happen. Do you mean, I mean like the guards to... going and checking on people or HSA? Well, no, what, what happens is that there is supervised quarantining in um, government facilities, you know, hotels at the airport or some other kind of facilities that there are. And, you know, that's what needs to happen. We need to ensure that there isn't kind of open access for people coming back from countries that have very high levels of the virus. Okay.